Hey there, friends and followers. As like most locations, the Ocala area has many different places that have been added to the National Register of Historic Places. And also like other locations, some of those places have since been revitalized and repurposed to now house an establishment that benefits the community. So what are those places here in Ocala? Some of which may surprise you. Stay tuned. <laughs> Ah, so yes, as always, welcome back here with you, your local Ocala realtor. Now, the National Register of Historic Places is the official list of the nation's historic places worthy of preservation in an effort to support public and private efforts to identify, evaluate, and protect America's historic resources. These come in the form of buildings, sites, districts, structures, and objects. And according to their website, about every county in the United States has at the minimum of one place listed in the National Register. Here in Marion County, it's estimated that we have 33 different properties and districts that are on the National Register. And with the deep historic background that Ocala has, it's no surprise that there are numerous locations that have been wonderfully preserved. But to take preservation one step further and incorporate something of modern relevance into some of these historic locations, well, now that's something worthy of embracing and recognizing, especially for an area like ours who is extremely passionate about our culture and history. So what are some of these locations and what do they offer now? Let's check them out. Number one is the Fort King Historical Site. Now, named after Colonel William King, the military fort was built back in 1827 and during the 1830s was an important base for Florida's infantry during the Seminole Wars. A decade later, the fort would go on to then become the site of a courthouse that served the area just before being abandoned and scrapped for materials. In late 2017, the fort was replicated and reconstructed to give visitors an idea of what the fort looked like, along with the history of its tenure and implementing the Fort King Visitor Center and Archaeological Resource Center, which houses artifacts from the fort. There's also a heritage teaching garden and an interpretive trail on site. Location number two is the East Hall, or the former Florida Industrial School for Girls. Now, this building, having been built back in 1915 by the Public Works Administration on behalf of the state, it later opened in 1917 and it was originally a reclamation school for delinquent females here in the Ocala area. Originally accommodating girls from age 9 to 17, it later went on to have a minimum age requirement of 12 years of age and turning away any pregnant females. The school trained its students in home economics and traditional academic curricula. After years of operation, the establishment finally ceased and was added to the National Register in 1995. The location now houses the Marion County Museum of History and Archaeology. Having opened its doors in 2011, there's all kinds of artifacts inside covering the last 13,000 years of Ocala and Marion County's history. Location 3 is the old Coca-Cola bottling plant. Now, upon being built in 1939, the building, having reflections of Mission and Spanish revival style construction, mostly due to the South Florida architect who built it, would go on to produce many bottles of happiness for individuals all around Florida. After a short amount of time spent as a conference center, the building was added to the National Register in 1979. In recent years, after having sat dormant, it caught the eye of a Marion County Cultural Alliance board member who purchased the property and went on to create a safe haven for artists during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now known as the Noma Art Gallery, the former bottling area supports a huge gallery with everything from paintings, sculptures, and photographs. Hosting various events and open galleries, this establishment is an immediate connection between the city and the culture of art here in Ocala. Location 4, we find Ocala Union Station. Now, established back in 1917, this station was built and accommodated both the Atlantic Coastline and the Seaboard Airline Transportation for Railway, which up until that point operated out of separate train depots. After years of transportation of people and resources, the station went on to act as a hub for Greyhound bus lines and more currently the public transportation known as SunTram. After being added as a historical landmark in 1997, the city went on to spend $4 million in renovations and restoring the building back to its original appearance. Now housing the Magnolia Art Exchange, or MAX for short, the location acts as an art incubator, gallery, and overall creative environment to expand the culture of art presence here into the Ocala area. Resident artists, students and teachers, and art lovers alike gather for some of the coolest exhibits and events here in town. And lastly, location number five, the Marion Hotel. Now, built by Philadelphia architectural firm Peebles & Ferguson, the hotel was completed in 1927. Being built by funds of stock shares, the hotel was to be a first-class accommodation for visitors here to the Ocala area. In later years, the hotel went on to house office condominiums for private individuals and companies alike, and more recently now houses the local coffee staple, Symmetry Coffee and Crepes. Being added as a historic place in 1980, it was then preserved by the Florida Trust for Historic Preservation. Talks and actions are in the works currently for a full-on proposed renovation to the tallest building in Ocala that would once again make this location the most elegant and premier destination in the downtown area. Now, whether you just moved here, are looking to move here, or simply passing through the area, be sure to slide by one of these five great locations to not only see some of the historical significance behind them, but to check out the great establishments that now operate out of them. If you dug this video because of the historical significance to the 
Ocala area in it, then be sure to hang out and check out this next video, which dives deep into the history of the Sharps Ferry area. If you dug this video because you're simply looking to relocate to the Ocala area, find my information below, drop a comment, or reach out to me directly to schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with great Ocala content like this, as well as the residential real estate market here. As always, thanks for tuning in and checking out the videos, and we'll catch you guys on the next.